Hey NormConf, I'm Amanda Fiorito, an analytics engineer at Hex, and I'm here to talk to you about Qualify, the SQL filtering statement you never knew you needed. Let's dive in with an example. Suppose you're a data person at a retail company and a stakeholder asks you for the most expensive order that each customer has ever placed. You'll likely want to start out with a query like this, pulling from your orders table and bringing in information like customer ID, order ID, perhaps the date that the order was placed, the sale amount, and then a window function like rank that partitions this data by customer and ranks it in descending order from most expensive to least expensive. So my output looks like this, where everything in my system has been ranked and I have about 35,000 rows. This is close, but my stakeholder only wants the most expensive orders or where ranked orders by total equals one. I may try, if I'm somewhat new to SQL, to filter this with my WHERE clause, because this is how I know to filter information. And unfortunately, this doesn't work. WHERE clauses don't work with window functions. So I may try something like group by. I'll group by all my non-aggregates and then see if my window function behaves more like aggregate functions that I know about. Try this, and yet again, I'm met with an error. Neither where nor having work. Why is that? The answer is that it comes down to our order of operations. Within a given query, where and having are both evaluated before window functions. So they can't filter out window functions because they simply don't know about them. That hasn't been evaluated yet at the time that we run a where or a having. So what's the answer? <laughs> Well, if you're like me and several other people I know, you find a way to make the filter come after a window function. The most common way to do this is with a common table expression or CTE. Here's my original query again. If I'm pursuing the CTE method, I'll wrap my original statement in a CTE and then select everything from that CTE where ranked orders by total and on running this, I see that this works and it's totally valid. It was pretty efficient. It ran in one second. It did what I needed to do. And it's fairly reasonable to comprehend. The only problem with this is that I had to introduce two queries instead of one. And I've written some extra line of code, which if you're doing this every day can get a little old, a little stale, a little redundant. So instead, let's try qualify. With qualify, I again have my original query, but I'm only going to introduce one line of code. The qualify statement, ranked orders by total equals one. I'll run this. And again, I filtered it down to these 12,000 rows where ranked orders by total only equals one. How did this work when where and having didn't? Well, when we add qualify into our order of operations, we see that it comes after window. Window gets evaluated and then qualify statements get evaluated. So it knows about my window functions and therefore can filter them in the same query. This is pretty powerful stuff. It's pretty easy. The syntax is very comprehensive. You can both use an alias like I've done in my original statement or if you don't want this field to show up in your output at all, you can simply get rid of that and throw the window function in its entirety in qualify, rerun it, it evaluates, and you no longer have that ranked orders by total field. Both are perfectly valid. Of course, every data warehouse has its own nuances, so be sure to check your documentation to see if qualify behaves the same way that it does for you as it does for me. And note finally, that the real power of Qualify isn't necessarily in runtime optimization. Both my CTE solution and this solution ran in about one second. So there's no real optimization benefit. The real benefit to using Qualify is in quality of life improvements. It's one line of code instead of introducing a whole extra query. It's streamlined, it's a little bit readable, and it's less lines to type. It's not a big flashy improvement, but it is something that will make your life hopefully better. 
and I look forward to hearing how you're using Qualify in your own work. Thanks for watching. I'd love to continue the conversation. You can find me on Twitter or DataFolksMastodon or in DBT Slack. Thanks and enjoy the rest of NormConf.